Flooding in China, army used up to one ton of explosives to blow up flood dams amid the rescue of 1.2 million people. Beijing July 17, China's flood season entered the most severe phase of the flood season of 2022. 79 rivers were at an alert level of one yesterday, July 16. The Chinese military blew up a dam to release floodwaters that threaten one of the country's most populous provinces, as the death toll from widespread flooding has risen to at least 125. At least 125 people have died and more than 100,000 have been evacuated after severe flooding in Guangdong. This comes after the city, home to 10 million residents, experienced nearly a year of rain for three days through Saturday. Meteorologists have described rainfall as a once-in-a-thousand years event. The dam blast operation came just as the heaviest rain in a millennium overwhelmed Guangdong, trapping people in schools, apartments and offices. Officials said an additional 70 people were missing. The Chinese military had to use one ton of explosives to destroy a dam in the Upper Han River in Guangdong to rescue 1.2 million people. The sound made many people think of an earthquake, along with the light that lit up the night sky. Rain has turned streets into fast-moving rivers, washing away cars and flooding homes. A power outage shut down ventilators at one hospital, forcing staff to use hand-pump airbags to help patients breathe, according to the city's Communist Party committee. The floods come as China comes under pressure from U.S. climate envoy John Kerry, who has called on the country's leaders to step up action to contain the climate crisis. Mr. Kerry said that if China does not cut emissions enough, the global goal of keeping temperatures below 1.5 degrees Celsius is essentially impossible.